I, I want to talk about uh, some ideas that uh, might be uh, kind of disconnected or disjointed and a lot of it is like anecdotal or just little stories here and there some personal some uh, some general or some that has happened in the news <coughs> but uh, people kind of pass over it uh, one of the things that uh, keep happening and uh, this is uh, like uh, ongoing but it, it happens and shocks people and then it goes on and then people forget about it then it happens again so I was reading the news that uh, uh, there was this guy, he, he was working in this company and he was uh, like an important person, he was like a supervisor, something like that. And the company uh, discovered that they, they didn't need him anymore, they could let him go and save the money. So in his termination hearing, uh, this was very devastating to him, uh, he took out his guns and he shot five people. I don't know how many he shot that he didn't, they didn't die, uh, but five died. And then uh, the police came. I don't know what happened to him. Well, a lot of these guys that they do this stuff, they, uh, they get away. They, uh, uh, they, they don't get killed. They end up in prison. And they have a long life too over there. Then, uh, uh, there was another incident. This was uh, about uh, like a, a Muslim guy, uh, and this was pretty famous incident. And he went, uh, I think, it was in Miami, uh, into a nightclub, a gay nightclub, and uh, he opened fire and killed a lot of gays. And uh, uh, then, uh, uh, then. Uh, this kind of makes you think, hey, uh, what would prompt somebody to do this? It's, it's like uh, uh, you see an incident, but you don't see all the history that came in that brought this incident. For example, the f one with the guy who, sh who shot the, uh, the co-workers, five co-workers, then uh, there was a lot of stuff going on, right? The same with the Muslim guy. Then uh, uh, I could draw some conclusion that th there were a lot of stuff, a lot of history that was going on with this person. Something like a job or a lifestyle either became very important, was was supposed to be there or not supposed to be there and the person, the way he was, or the way he thought he was, then uh, it was a very harsh conflict, and he tried to totally destroy what was outside to remove the problem that was in-house. Well, then, uh, I, I'm taking uh, courses in law, and we were talking in class, uh, I, I told her uh, that, uh, like, uh, uh, the the gays or certain groups like Zionists, uh, APAC, or uh, or uh, veterans that want to keep guns, or uh, or certain um, fringe groups. Uh, well, they are not fringe anymore, but they they keep going through the courts. Uh, and using different laws to uh, to make legally okay to hold guns, or legally okay to uh, to to be gay openly in society, and also legally okay to harass other people who are not gay to go into this lifestyle. Legally okay to uh, 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 use guns or carry guns in public. Uh, so what what has has been happening because they, in the United States they, there is a philosophy is stare decisis. They when they have new cases come in, 
all these precedences that have established that yes, it's a, something that's immoral or illegal was used to be illegal, then uh, now it's okay. And then the uh, the new cases they extend this immorality and this infringement on uh, society even more. Uh, and uh, well, when she, uh, I was talking in the class to her about the homosexuality that the gays are very aggressive now and they are everywhere and they uh, infringe on uh, all social interactions and they are on the internet but the, the class they didn't like my uh, analogy to this case of legal positivism that's what they call it and she came out with another one that they could see the truth that uh, because of the abortion laws then aborting fetuses were okay. Usually the fetus would be like two, three, four, or five months old. But now the states are passing laws that is making it legal to abort fetus. And it could be like uh, eight months or almost to the birth. Then that's okay to kill this, this almost newborn. Then... Uh, this is the similar concept of legal positivism that gradually these fringe groups like uh, pedophiles or homosexuals uh, and people who are totally irresponsible, uh, they're having kids and then abort them very late or people who want to hold guns and carry uh, semi-automatics and then uh, groups that are uh, even more fringe, Zionists and the Wahhabis, and then uh, special interest corporate groups that have redefined themselves as a, as a U.S. citizens, as a person, which is this is a company or a corporation with tremendous resources, come in and define themselves as a person, and then vote and also give out money, uh, campaign contributions, and interfere in things, and then make their own company, and uh, NGOs, and then uh, uh, like hire people to become uh, uh, protesters, or which is something that, uh, well, you gotta go for the rest of that to uh, uh, Infowars, uh, but uh, there is something wrong with this whole picture of the way the laws and uh, things evolve and, and people kind of lose track. Hey, this is not right. This is, um, this is morally wrong. There's going to be consequences, but uh, it, it kind of gets, uh, gets uh, kind of lost in the shuffle. And... <coughs> It's uh, interesting how very aggressive gays have become in, in, in public domain. They, uh, uh, they know that the laws will, will not punish them, or they, they show up uh, in temples, they show up in, uh, uh, say for example, I'm uh, uh, having a conversation with a girl, and things seem to be like going well, might end up somewhere, then this white gay guy shows up and uh, completely pinches in into this, uh, ruins this, and then it almost there is no uh, social ethics or social uh, to, to get rid of this uh, idiot. But, uh, uh, well, uh, I had this problem, my son, uh, he was trying to uh, kick me out of the housing which I wanted to give him the, my voucher, but he wanted to harass me, so he, he keep bringing a, a gay guy, and he uh, he hang around. I keep telling him get get him out of my house. Uh, anyhow, I then later on, after all this uh, trouble, then later on he uh, he, he called me uh, last week from jail and told me. That, hey, I invited some friends, and uh, one of the friends was very aggressive gay, 
and, and uh, I guess he had tried to make a pass on him or something, and he they started into a fist fight, and, and uh, he beat him up, and also he had injured him, like injured his eye, and he was telling me, I'm in jail and my eye is bleeding. Uh, I told him, uh, uh, why you don't tell the public defender you want to, uh, you want to uh, fight the case. Anyhow, then my ex went and got him out and the, uh, one reason I think he's going to beat it is because the, the bond was so low. It was like a thousand or fourteen hundred, but he got out. So he has to now go face that. But I, I asked him, are you gay? And he said, no, but I, I've had gay friends and they have, they, they can come around. I had, there was no problem. But I guess there was a problem this time that all these laws have been passed and then uh, the police came in and automatically assumed that he was at fault versus this gay guy that he shouldn't have even gone there and he shouldn't be so aggressive and well he, he I don't know what will happen in court but I, I think my son is also very stupid he he don't kind of reason hey you know somebody is like this uh, there might be some incidents or he, he didn't think about that the same with the stupid judges and attorneys that pass all these laws and legalize everything that was formerly immoral and Ill illegal and not right, but now gradually through a whole process of case law and justification process, these things have become legal. And then what happens is that the individual is, is left with all the responsibility of dealing with the, the messes that might come around and there is no uh, legal protection. You, you must think about everything or every uh, transaction or every social occasion to, the, to, to prevent uh, things from going wrong because if they did go wrong or, or if there were grounds for things going wrong, then there is no legal recourse. There is no, the police will come and there is nothing that you can do. They won't do anything. In fact, you might get nabbed and thrown into the jail. Then, uh, in the Roman law, the, uh, the Romans would say that, I think it's called mens rea, when somebody commits a crime, okay, so there's two elements to it, which is really true and in the Sharia law too has a meaning there, is that it, they had the mens rea, uh, or, and then the other one is actus rea. Mens rea, it means this person became a criminal, he had criminal intent or thoughts, and then they acted on these thoughts and it became actus reas, okay? So they did not define a crime by simply the act. The law wasn't totally reactive. It was also looked at the kind of person that they were, they were and, and there were practices in society to prevent these individuals from gaining too much social and economic and uh, uh, political influence. Well, in the Sharia law, it, it says that the people who are like pedophiles or homosexuals uh, or they, they have committed serious crimes in the past, they cannot become judges, they cannot become uh, uh, rulers, uh, that's their terminology, because they're defective, they, 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 they will uh, ruin the whole society. In Islamic Sharia law, they call it Mufsid Falars. Mufsid means the corrupter of the whole earth, because when they come in into power, everything is channeled through this corrupt individual, 
and then the laws and uh, things that come out it, 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 it will have more consequences. In, in the Sharia law, there is a, a concept. It's called dia. Dia means like a, a kind of religious tax, because uh, the the Jews were the, almost always the culprit in uh, theft or, or financial fraud or usury or, or influence peddling, and the, the, it was an obnoxious influence. And so they had to pay a religious tax, uh, extra money to the already existing taxes and obligations just to live in this society, in the Muslim society. It was just an attempt by society to limit their influence and limit their, uh, uh, limit their action. Then uh, in, uh, in the common law, in, in the uh, police practices if you get into a scuffle into a fist fight and you uh, didn't throw the f uh, even if you threw the first punch but the other person came in and they instigated the fight by uttering fighting words you know cussing you and uh, insulting you and uh, uh, being obnoxious then uh, really you are not at fault because uh, you didn't instigate, you didn't ask for this fight. Then in the, in the French legal system, if uh, a guy comes in 